The camera sensor is the most important part of the camera. And by knowing what size sensor you have, you're gonna be able to take better pictures and videos. And you're also gonna be able to understand what lenses you should be putting on your camera or purchasing. So let's take a look. So there are three different camera sensor sizes that you need to know, and that's gonna be the full frame sensor, the APS-C size sensor, and the micro four third sensor. So the biggest one of the three is full frame, hence its name, full frame. A step down from that is gonna be the APS-C sensor, which is one and a half times smaller. And then coming in last, we have the micro four third sensor, which is two times as small. And the reason why you need to know these different sizes is because each sensor is gonna affect the magnification of the lens that you put on your camera. As you can tell, I'm comparing everything to the full frame sensor. And that's because the full frame sensor is like a universal language that everyone speaks. It's like your home currency when you're traveling. And that's because the full frame sensor is one to one. You don't have to do any conversion. You just know that the full frame is full frame. If I am traveling to Kenya and someone says that something costs 400 shillings, then the first thing I'm thinking of is, okay, well, what's that in US dollars? If you have a 35 millimeter lens on your micro four thirds camera, then your first thought should be, okay, what is that to the US dollar? What is that to a full frame size sensor? So a super versatile lens to put on my full frame size camera is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. So if I was gonna put that 24 to 70 lens on an APS-C camera that has an APS-C size sensor, then the focal length is actually gonna be multiplied by 1.5. So that 24 to 70 now becomes, drum roll on the math, a 36 to 105 millimeter lens. Cause I'm gonna have to multiply both those numbers by 1.5 and that's gonna give me the full frame equivalency. So what might have seen, seemed like a wide lens is actually kind of like a mid range lens. So that's what an APS-C size sensor is. Now let's talk about micro four thirds. Uh, micro four thirds is two times as small, which means that if I want that 24 to 70 range, I'm gonna have to find a lens that's 12 to 35 millimeters. So I hope you're understanding that you need to know what your sensor size is because that's definitely gonna affect the focal length of your lens that you put on your camera. So that covers the three different camera sensor sizes. Now let's go over a couple pros and a couple cons of each of them. The pro is that it's just cheaper. If you're looking for cameras that are on the cheaper side, I would advise you to look for APS-C size sensors and you're gonna find lenses that are cheaper. You're gonna find cameras that are cheaper. So that might be an option for you. The other pro is that you have a wider range of your focal length because if I have like a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and I wanna put that on my micro four thirds camera, then that 70 to 200 now becomes a 140 to 400 millimeter lens. I brought a micro four thirds sensor to Kenya and I was able to get some pretty nice shots of giraffes and elephants and other animals by just taking advantage of that multiplication. The first con is that it kind of sucks doing the math. The second con actually has some real world consequences, which is that if you're using a smaller sensor size, then you're also gonna be taking a hit on the depth of field behind whatever you're taking a picture of. If I set both my examples using an f2.8 aperture, the image is still gonna be as bright, but if you look closely, you're gonna take a little bit of a hit on the depth of field. A more shallow depth of field, AKA more blurriness in the background, that's gonna be more desirable in most situations. So just keep that in mind when you're using APS-C or micro four thirds sensors. And that kind of covers the basics of sensor sizes. I hope that you learned something today. Uh, please take these tips and take care.